Hey guys, I'm finally back again and I'm bringing you a software review or rather a tutorial on how to easily clone your hard drive in very few simple steps. I'll show you how to clone Windows from one drive to another. That's what we often want to do when we decide to upgrade our boot drive to either increase capacity or speed. Most of the time people make the move from a standard mechanical HDD to an SSD. Now I hear way too often people telling others to do a clean install of Windows, like it's basically the only way when doing this kind of disk upgrade. But why waste precious time if your Windows install is working fine and you just want a new drive to boot from? Now just to clarify, there's tons of software out there that can help you do that. And actually not every cloning software does support OS cloning, just pointing that out. Today I'm gonna show you how to do it with the tool called Disk Copy 3.0 by EaseUs. This is probably one of the most user-friendly interfaces faces I've come across so far, at least from my experience. First off, if you want to do the cloning with EaseUs Disk Copy 3.0, the download link is in the video description. As expected, you can choose from several languages. Even though my first language is German, yeah, call me weird, but I always prefer having everything in English on my tech stuff. The installation is really nothing out of the ordinary. Once that's done, I shut down my PC and connect the so-called new drive I want to clone to. Okay, I've already formatted that Intel SSD I just connected. Next up I just started the disk copy tool. I was kindly given a license key so I can activate it and enjoy all the features. And as you can see I'm offered to create a bootable disk. Now you can either do it by creating an ISO image or just make a bootable USB flash drive. That's all very simple but we'll get to that later. Now there are two modes to choose from. Disk mode and partition mode. There's a lot of stuff we can do with this tool but I just want a simple disk clone. So I went with the disk mode and selected my source disk, this Samsung SSD where my Windows 10 installation is on. You could do a sector by sector copy to basically make a physical copy, but I never made use of that so far. So just click on next and now we have to select our target disk, the drive we want to clone to. In my case I want this to be the Intel SSD. Then hit next and click on OK, confirming the data on the target disk will be deleted. Now that's the disk layout, how it's going to turn out. It's set to auto fit in my case and since my target disk is actually an SSD, I put the check mark where it belongs. Finally click on proceed. The next steps are going to take a while so sit back and relax. Maybe watch some of my other videos in the meantime or whatever. Okay it's done now. In theory everything should be cloned now. When looking under this PC the copy does show up. However will we be able to successfully boot from it? That's why I unplugged the old drive and only left the OS drive clone and storage drive connected. Go into the BIOS and make sure your boot order is correct, so you actually boot from the new drive. And as you can see I successfully booted into Windows, all perfect. And look at that, it is the Intel SSD. The clone was a 100% success. However, let's check out what's up with the bootable USB drive, shall we? Earlier on you saw me create that bootable drive with the disk copy tool. Of course in the BIOS make sure you boot from USB. And there you go, after a while this copy loads up and it's pretty much the same thing. So you could use that if you don't want to do the cloning within the Windows environment. When it comes to pricing of this very useful tool, you could either get a one year subscription for $20 or a lifetime version with the latest upgrades for $60. The latter is the better choice obviously if you do it frequently. But can we do the cloning without any license key? On purpose I've deactivated my copy of this tool just to try that out. And and unfortunately, no. The tool won't let me proceed with the cloning procedure. I'd have to enter a license key first. It would be nice if one could do it, but then again, EaseUs wouldn't really make any profit out of it. So it's kinda understandable. I 
get it. $60 for a lifetime license may appear a bit steep to some, but if you need this kind of software for cloning and partitioning frequently and want a nice, clean and user-friendly interface, Disk Copy 3.0 by EaseUs is a very nice piece of software indeed. And yeah, I hope you did enjoy this more unusual video of mine. Thanks for watching everyone.